Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jordan from Just Tesla and I'm back with another video. We've just ordered. This is what you get as soon as you press order. We'll just wait for it now. So where we are right now, we've, we're a month from ordering, just, just under a month from when we made the order and placed the order. So I wanted to make a little video about that and how far along we are in the order process and what we've received and what's happened so far. Okay, so we ordered the Tesla just before Christmas. Um, it was on the 16th. So 16th of December, we ordered the Tesla. We used a customizable form. And just to make it clear, there are two ways of ordering a Tesla. You can order existing inventory, which is still new stock, but it's an existing vehicle. It's already configured, it's already made. And that is usually within a branch within the UK. Or you can create a custom car, which is how you get the cheaper version that we managed to get, which is on the website, it's listed as 38,500. Um, so you can do two ways, there's two ways of doing it. Now existing vehicles are configured by Tesla usually, or they're canceled orders by um, other customers. So usually they have options on that. If you wanna know options Tesla like what we did, you will need to configure it yourself. They don't have those configured already. The reason I, I, I mention this is because is the, they are the two ways of ordering it. And depending on which way you order, one, you could probably collect within the next two or three days if you order it, which is the existing one. And the other one would be um, delivered to you from the United States. So once it's been made, they ship them and it will be delivered to you to a local service center and then you collect it. So there are two different ways of doing it. One takes a lot more time, but you get to customize it. One is a lot quicker and you don't get to customize it. So it's worth thinking about when you're ordering your Tesla. Okay, so within the first day, we'd made the payment and we'd made a payment, sorry. And within the first day, Tesla Birmingham, which is our closest service center, rang us to confirm the order and they welcomed us to the family. We spoke to a really friendly guy and he just explained that um, the way that it's going to work at the moment. He was, he was a little bit loose with the, with the explanation, but he's basically saying that the car is now being produced and once they have a more fixed deadline, they'll send us more information through. But at the moment, welcome to the family. So that's, that's the call we received on the first day. At this point, you would have paid 750 pounds. Um, just, yeah, just to make sure, yeah, 750 pounds. You pay that to confirm your order. You're not gonna pay anything else for a long time. And uh, that's what we was explained. So it doesn't matter if you're paying cash, it doesn't matter if you're paying finance, it doesn't matter how you're doing it. Final payment is made when they give you, when, it, when it's closer to the delivery date. That's what we've been told. Up until this point, a month in, we've still only paid 750 pounds. I suspect for another month, we've probably only spent 750 pounds as well. After we've paid this money, after the Tesla call, the, the very next day, this was on the second day of ordering the Tesla, I then filled in the details. So you have a form that you need to go through, which I'll put up on screen now. I'm gonna try and remember what you have to fill in. It's something like, you have to, you have to fill in the delivery address for the car. You have to, deliver, you have to fill in the, um, the registered driver's details in the car and you have to submit a photo of your license as well. So you have to take a photo or scan a copy of your driver's license, you have to submit that as well. Um, and you need payment arranged. You need to have your payment arranged. Um, you need to tell them how you're doing payment. Um, that's one of the reasons, the other reasons the guy will call you on the phone to confirm this. So once all of these details are filled in and you've got all four of those details filled in, um, you've then completed the form. And I recommend all those details they require, I recommend getting them done as fast as possible. So we did that on the second day. So that will be on your home page of your order form where you can see your vehicle and it will request details. Now, as soon as you've filled them in, someone at Tesla is gonna review them. Once they're reviewed and accepted, they will then, it, well, three days later for us, we then received a, a new page, which basically says, and the next steps, we are drafting up your contract and we will contact you Contact you to make the final payment. Um, who must be present at delivery? All persons listed on the registration must be present, uh, present to sign at delivery. If you're trading in a vehicle, all registered owners must be present. Yeah, just a, a quick note as well. On the, the details um, before, on the four details that you need to fill in on that form, it asks about a trading vehicle. If you're not trading in a vehicle, you don't have to put anything and they will just automatically 
uh, process it anyway. So we're not trading in a vehicle. Um, we're going to sell our old vehicle separately. So it just automatically refreshed that page for us. So there was no need to do anything on that. It also tells you what you need to bring on collection. Your, your driver's license for all registrants. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I've got to take my driver's license down. Um, I need a copy of your current auto insurance or proof of the Tesla policy. I'm going to go through that in another video on how to get the best priced insurance. I've, I've got a fantastic insurance um, lined up, which was about three times cheaper than anywhere else. So I'll, I'll share that in another video. Um, you need to do final payment on, on collection date. You need the title of your trading vehicle if you're trading in a vehicle. And they've given you some terms and conditions by the, by the uh, trading vehicle as well. So that's basically what the page says. I'll put that up on screen because I can show you the page we've got at the moment on screen. I might have to block out some um, personal details on here. What else is on this page? So you have an order agreement, you have a booking invoice, and you have a credit note. Again, I I'll probably keep this, I'll probably block out this information, but the, the vehicle order agreement is just your car with all the, all the options that you've chosen and the price at the bottom and the amount due. Um, and it'll also say order payment of 750 pounds. It has the order date from the 16th of December. Um, we can go back. Let me just check if anything else is interesting on here. And then there's another order form, which it just looks like a company um, order form with VAT numbers on and all that sort of stuff. That's good for, for if you're running a business, it's great to send to your accountant. You'd have sent, basically, I've got everything up to date, what we've paid so far. So you can send that through. But apart from that, um, here's the interesting bit, in my opinion. So... We filled in the details, we got this new refreshed page that basically says they'll reach out to us when they've got a uh, estimated order date. So we still have no estimated order date. On the form it will say, on, on the web page itself, it says estimated um, delivery date or del delivery due date. And un under ads, it just has a line for it, it has nothing. So if you go onto the custom order form as of today, so when we ordered our Tesla, the expected delivery date on the website when we were doing the custom order, it said estimated delivery time, February. Um, so it is now mid-January and we still haven't got an expected order date. Now, when you go onto the custom order form now to, to make a Tesla, it says estimated delivery time, February. So I was expecting it to say a little bit later, um, April, May but it still says February. So the estimated time hasn't changed since January. I think there's, it's one of two things. Either one, they are building an inventory of UK orders, Tesla orders. They're building them in the factory. They're stocking them up. And then once they've got a certain amount of, of, of vehicles ready to go to the UK, they ship them. And that's why they estimated February. And it's when, they're, when they feel that they'll hit that order, that order um, limits, and then they'll ship to, to the UK. Or they've worked it the other way around where they already have a delivery service in place. They have a certain amount of allotments on a ship ready, already booked in for February. So then when it comes to February, there's a certain amount of orders ready to go for the UK. And they already know that there's going to be a certain amount of vehicles getting on that boat coming to the UK. So it's one or, one or the other. Either they're waiting for a quota to be hit and then they ship them. Or they are... Um, they've already booked, they already know when the next uh, shipment is going to the UK. So that's why they're given the February time. I think it's one of one of those two because they've not changed, for the last month, they've not changed when the expected delivery is. And I just feel that it's done on, if I ordered it now, I probably received the car at the exact same time. So if you ordered the Tesla now, you'd probably receive it at a similar time to me. And I think that's just because they know the logistics, they know how many vehicles they're gonna be shipping out to the UK. With that being said, I don't actually know what's going on. Um, this is just sort of, so if anyone else is in this similar situation, they wanted to be filled in, where their Tesla is at, where, what sort of time frame they're looking at, at least a month, from when you ordered, at least a month, if you're in the UK and it's a, and it's a custom order, so far, at least a month. And I think obviously, I, I don't know how far along the car is being produced. I don't know if it's got its, if it's fully assembled and it's already in the in a parking lot waiting to be shipped here or if it's still on an order form somewhere waiting to be made um, i'll keep it updated i'll probably do another one if i get any more information or in another month um i think a really cool thing for what tesla should have a look at doing i don't know if they've ever been on the papa john's website 
that Papa John's will say, right now the car is being manufactured. Right, well, right now the pizza is being made. Right now it's in the oven, right now it's on the road, and then it says tuck in and enjoy. So I think something like that would be pretty cool if Tesla could implement it. Um, so yeah, maybe Tesla needs to take some tips from Papa John's on this one. Um, and yeah, I'm not too sure, but <laughs> I think it'd be cool. And I think a lot of people would be willing to wait and would be interested in the process. I don't think it'd cost, I, I, mean, I don't know about car manufacturing, so here we go again. I, I'm giving my suggestions over, I don't actually have a clue. But I think it'd be really interesting if they could do, the body has now been stamped from the presses. The, the wheels are being put on, the car's being painted. Um, your car is now waiting collection. Your car is in, um, on a boat being shipped. The car is now in transit to, I mean, that'd be really cool. I don't know how, it'd probably take quite a lot of infrastructure. It might be just needless anyway. Um, but I think it'd be really interesting if they could implement something like that. So yeah, uh, take some tips from Papa John's if you can. Tesla, uh, have a look into that because I love to know where my pizza is on the road because sometimes when you're getting a little bit hungry, you just want to know where your pizza is. Um, but anyway, what next? What next? What happens next from this point on? We wait. Next video will probably be about purchasing the charger because that's something I want to do. Uh, uh, something I want to do at the moment. So yeah, if you are here a few days after it's been uploaded, the charger video has probably already been uploaded. So go check that out as well. Um, really appreciate the views we had on the last two videos. Um, didn't expect it, but if there's anything else you guys want to see or information you want to see, let me know. That is everything for now. That's what you, you can expect after one month of ordering it within the UK. Um, if I missed anything, please comment below and I'll try and fill you in if, if you're expecting it, if you're experiencing any, um, any difficulties with your, with your Tesla or, or you think you've done something wrong or um, want any advice on anything. That's Jordan from Just Tesla. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.